Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, on the test bench today, I'll be testing out an ATI Radeon X1950 Pro, which is one of ATI's flagship cars of 2006, replacing the X1900 GT in the competitive sub $200 market. Fun fact, it was the first ATI car that supported native Crossfire uh, implementation by a pair of internal Crossfire connectors, which eliminates the need for the unwieldy external dongle found in older Crossfire systems. Uh, it comes with 256 megabytes of GDDR3V RAM and has two DVI outputs plus S video, all powered by a single six pin connector. To test this card, I will be pairing it with an Intel Core 2 Quad Q6600 and four gigabytes of DDR2 RAM, which should be more than enough to let the card reach its full potential. Let's start with some benchmarks. In 3D Mark 2001, we got a score of 33,489. And in 3D Mark 2005, we got a score of 10,299. Doom 3 in game benchmark 1280 by 1024 Ultra settings, we averaged an impressive 95.5 FPS. Fear in game benchmark 1360 by 768 at high settings. We got an average of 32 FPS, so reducing the settings a little will get better results for sure. Crisis benchmark 1360 by 768 at medium settings, we averaged 30 FPS, which is pretty reasonable for such a game. Again, reducing the settings slightly will improve the results. Now on some gameplay, in Painkiller 1360 by 768 at the insane preset, we often saw frame rates well into the high 100s and exceeding 200 when there's no enemies in view. Oblivion 3060 by 768 with max view distance and all graphical settings turned on. We averaged around 60 FPS and often saw higher frame rates depending on what was happening on screen. Of course, capping the frame rate at 60 is highly recommended as it's well known that Bethesda games don't get on well with higher frame rates, with the game speeding up and weird physics happening if not capped. Just Cause, 1280 by 1024 high settings. This game can run very comfortably at 60 FPS with highs into the 80s. Fallout 3, 1360 by 768, medium settings. While wandering the capital wasteland, we're seeing frame rates around the 40s, maxing out at 50. As with Oblivion, you don't want to be running this game at more than 60 FPS anyway. Torchlight 1360 by 768 high settings were averaging around 100 FPS with highs into the 120s. This game can run comfortably on most older hardware, so it's no surprise we're getting great performance here. A 
And finally, Dragon Age Origins, 1360x768 at very high settings. In this section, right at the beginning of the game, we're averaging around 50 FPS, which really surprised me as I wasn't expecting this game to run so well. Not gonna lie, I didn't actually expect this car to perform as well as it did, especially given you can pick up one of these for around £25 on eBay. There is also an AGP version, but not surprisingly, they can be more expensive to get hold of, unless you get lucky. Uh, one thing to consider about this car is that it only has driver support up to Windows Vista, which is surprising considering Nvidia was supporting their cars of this era up until Windows 8. Uh, so that's all for this video. Leave a like and subscribe if you have, if you've enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.